welcome to another class of digital design with Verilog. Today class we will discuss about counter designing using FSM and difference between Moore FSM and Melly FSM. And in particular another thing also we will discuss that is excitation table of flip flop. So, outline of today class is uh, FSM of register and counter and we will discuss about uh, self starting counter, FSM based counter design using different flip flops particularly uh, we looked at from the point of view of excitation table of flip flop from FSM of flip flop optimizing circuits particularly counter circuit given different flip flops difference between Moore FSM and Melly FSM and we will have some example to compare difference between different machines particularly Melly machines and Moore machines. So, we have already uh, discussed this thing can any sequential system be represented with a state machines and the answer is yes we have already discussed in earlier classes but uh, uh, let us look at a uh, shift register so shift register this is the shift register so this one is shift register so input values uh, uh, if you draw a diagram for this fsm diagram so 3 bit shift register so because 3 bit shift register it will it will have around 8 states 2 to the power 3, so 8 states and the state diagram is shown here and if you look at the state diagram input are this the inputs, these are the inputs, these are the inputs, inputs are this inputs are shown in the arc. Given the input what should be the transitions? So, output will be shown in the state itself inside the state itself. So, and if you see so initially if it is 0 state is 0 and if you are getting a 0 and every clock cycle and if we are getting a 0 then it will stay in the same clock and if we are getting a 1 then because it is uh, we are giving input from the left sides 0 0 0 it will do a right shifting 1 will be inserted. So, 1 0 0 similarly if it is a 1 0 0 and you are getting a 1 then you will get 1 1 0 and then you will get 1 1 0. So, if you are getting a 0 here if you are st in state 1 0 0 you are getting a 0 then you will get 0 1 0. So, here clearly the inputs are specified in the arc and what will be the next test transitions based on input values it de get decided. Okay. So, if you are in state 0 0 0 and getting a 1 then you will go to this state, but if you are getting a 0 then you will stay in the same state. Similarly, if your state is current state is 1 1 1 and getting a 1 then it will stay in the same state. So, what we are saying is uh, uh, we are able to represent a state register. 3 bit shift register using FSM. So, let us look at uh, FSM for a counter. So, counter also very simplistic circuit we can define or we can state the counter using FSM. This is a 3 bit counter very simplistic counter which count up to 7 0 0 it start with 0 0 0 and goes up to 1 1 1. So, this is the starting place 0 0 0 and is 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, it starts with 0, 0, 0 and goes up to 1, 1, 1 and again it is come back to 0, 0, 0. So, if you look at this thing the tooth table directly you can encode this state easy to encode just uh, the values what are the values of 3 bit counter. Suppose this is the present state next state is if it is 0 then this next state is 0, 0, 1. So, this is the next state and this is the next state. 1 this is the state and the next state is equal to 2 if it is 2 then next state is 3. So, in that way we will directly goes there. Okay. So, this uh, is very simplistic uh, diagram of uh, FSM counter. So, suppose you want to design a means a different kind of counter which uh, means repeat the sequence. So, 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 and uh, 1 1 0. So, what are the sequence? This one is a uh, 0 then 2 then 3 then 5 then 6. So, it repeat the sequence 0 2 3 5 and 6 and these things again it get repeated 0 2 3 5 6 this things continues. Suppose you want to design a counter which uh, repeat uh, 
this sequence 0 2 3 5 6 clearly because it goes up to 6 so 3 bit is required and how many states because we have 5 states we are repeating 5 things we are repeating we require 5 states and the state diagram times on table shown here so directly if you look at the things the present state and next states so these are the uh, present state and this is the next state so initially it is uh, 0 0 it is going to 2 from 2 it is going to 3 so from 2 from 2 it is going to 3 from 3 it is going to 5 and at 4 we do not have any things for 7 we do not have so clearly this red part is uh, we are not using so out of 8 we get 3 bit we can have 8 state out of 8 state we are using only 5 state 3 state are remaining and we are using as do not care so if you look at the present state and next state diagrams so next state so some state are not getting used which is marked in red these are the marked in red and only black states are getting used in this table so each our design is robust the question is each our design is robust so is there any issue with this design and clearly does our counter get stuck in any invalid state because there are 8 states but in our counter we have for 3 bit we were using 3 bit 3 flip flops then possibility of 8 state okay and we are using a counter of 5 state and does our counter get stuck in invalid state what are the invalid state particularly in this case uh, we are using 0, 2, 3, 3, 5, 6. Invalid state are 1, particularly 1, then what we are using 4 and 7. Suppose initially during the starting of the counter, it goes into 1 and uh, 1, 4, 7 or 1, 7, 4 get repeated, then what will happen? So, it will not come to the real states so but this is the scenario so if what if the counter start with 111 and uh, this sequence repeats so start with 111 and uh, this uh, 7 4 and 1 repeats 7 4 1 repeats then it will not come to this state what we want it so that's a so proper methodology is to design your counter to be self starting. So, any invalid state or extra states immediately it should come to some valid states. So, this is 1. So, from 1 immediately some valid state you are getting into this is 2. So, in this case so uh, 7 4 and after 7 4 we are breaking that thing and going into 6. Okay. Any invalid state after 1 or 2 uh, clock it should go to valid state after some clock it should go to valid state and valid state should repeat it should not loop in invalid state so we should not do that thing we should do so try to break that invalid loop and goes into valid loop so this is the modified state diagram invalid state should always tangent to valid state so that is that we need to ensure so assure the startup so whenever it startups even if it enter into invalid state even if it entered to invalid state, it should move to valid state okay, without looping in invalid state. As your bit error tolerance, suppose by mistake some bit got error, so th then also it should uh, get into the valid state. Design your counter or a counter to be self starting, draw all state in the state diagrams. So, if we are using 3 bit, we require 5 state, but other 3 state also include in the state diagram and to make it self starting and fill all the entire state transition table. So, that is the most important thing and it may limit our ability to exploit do not care because if we have only 5 state out of 5 out of 8, then because 3 are unused for unused one we can use down here but it may create problems and another most important thing is choose startup transitions 
that minimize the logic and that is a important concepts if you minimize the hamming distance between two states then in general it is actually minimize the next state logic. So, this is one examples. So, in this examples earlier whatever we have designed the modified state diagram same thing. If you look at uh, between 0, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0 hamming distance is 3. 0, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0. So, this is the difference, this is the difference, this is the difference. In this case, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. Hamming distance is whenever there is a difference, hamming distance is 1. So, in this case, 1, 2, 3. So, there are 3 differences there. That means, here hamming distance is 3. So, in this case, hamming distance is 2. So, from 1, 1, 1, we are going to 1, 0, 0. So, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0. So, these 2 bit are changing. Last bit is not changing. Here, hamming distance is 2. In this case, also hamming distance is 2. So, total hamming distance is 3 plus 2 plus 2, which is 7. Can you optimize this? Can you minimize this thing? Optimize means in this case, can we minimize the summing distance? And this is another example. So, instead of uh, doing earlier things, so suppose uh, 0, 0, 1 immediately move to 0, 0, value state 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, particularly 1, 4, this one is uh, 4 move to 0 and 1 move to 0. In this case, hamming distance is 1, here also hamming distance 1. And 1, 1, 1, if we move to 0, 1, 1, then here also hamming distance. This 3 invalid state, 3 invalid state are moving to valid state with hamming distance 1. Here total hamming distance is 3. So, in this case means the output next logic circuit, particularly next logic circuit is much simpler. We can, because hamming distance is uh, less, total hamming distance less that probably will get a means a uh, minimized circuit. So, next uh, let us discuss about counter design based on FSM using, we generally by default use deep flip flop, but can you with use T flip flop, JK flip flop or RS flip flop? If you are using then what will be the benefit? Let us look at from that point of view and how we can use T flip flop, JK flip flop that is also another most important questions. By default whenever we are designing FSM, by default we use D flip flop. State register use D flip flop and this part of the uh, things are or materials we have taken from this book. So, digital principle and design by Donald D. Jeevan, section 6.9 of this book. So, by default whenever you implement any FSM, by default we use D flip flop as state register. Default flip flop is D flip flop, default flip flop is D flip flop, simple to design D flip flop and default flip flop is D flip flop. And this FSM can be designed using other flip flop too, with using other flip flop too. And benefit of other flip flop, we can take benefit of dual input flip flop, particularly RS have dual input, JK have dual input. Why not to take benefit of dual input? Counter can be implemented using smaller combinational circuit given other flip flop, maybe. Let us see with some example. And we may require more inputs from the combinational circuit to the state register, particularly now state register not with D flip flop. If you are using state register, implementing state register using JK flip flop, then we require twice the number of input because uh, for each flip flop we require two input. So, this is already we have seen in the earlier classes. So, FSM of 2 bit counter. So, this is a uh, state A, B, C and this is simple uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 and it repeats and state encoding is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. This is very simplistic counter and if you implement this thing, this is the present state and uh, this is the next state. 0 goes to 1 then 1 goes to this uh, 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 0. So, this 0, 1, 2, 3 repeats and this is the, if you implement using standard FSM implementation methodology, then this state register will be by default it is D flip flop and you require 2 D flip flop 
and what will be the combinational logic? We can uh, generate the next state logic very easily and in this case next state logic is uh, this one already you have seen this thing next state logic is n1 is s1 x or s0 and n0 is s0 dash that we have already designed in earlier classes we are not repeating this thing. So, synchronous counter designing so together we create FSM and encode the bit ok. So, state tables designing combinational circuit these are the principle behind the synchronous counter designing. So, we first create FSM what to be and encode the bit and in most of the very simplistic counter whatever the state bits is directly reflected as output as output we do not need to encode. So, suppose mod 10 counter or BCD counter count from 0 0 0 to 1 0 0 1 0 to 9 and then reset and it repeats. So, 0 to 9 it counts and then again it is reset to 0 and again count to 9. So, this is the and FSM with encoding is done because each state represent the values. So, 0 represent 0 1 0 0 1 represent 9 and each state represent its value. So, encoding is also done. So, this is the very simplistic diagrams. So, of mod 10 counters. So, it start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and after 9 it actually reset to 0 again and this thing repeats. And state table creations once we have designed the FSM then state table is uh, because state encoding is simplistic. So, this one is a uh, state 0 this is the state register how many state registers. So, we have 4 state register state bit. So, the state register have actually 4 bit 4 d flip flop and this is the next state logic. So, if it is 0 0 0 then it goes to 1 and we create the table you create this table and from this table we can derive what will be the value of n 0, n 1, n 2 and n 3. So, n 0, n 1, n 2 and n 3 because you have the this table state table from this what will be the boolean function of n 0, what will be boolean function n 1, n 2 and n 3. So, clearly this table this value if you do a any kind of map optimization then you will get this uh, what will be the next state logic for n 2, what will be for n 3 you can solve very nicely. So, using other flip flop we can design counter, we can take benefit of dual input flip flop and counter can be implemented using small combinational circuit. So, that we are claiming let us see with examples and more input from combinational circuits and how to do. So, we need to use one another kind of table that is called excitation table of flip flop. So, what is excitation table of flip flop? So, how flip flop output changes from 1 to others and based on required input. So, suppose we want to change from 0 to 0 then what should be the input? What will, will be the required flip flop input to change the flip flop output? So, suppose you want to change from 0 to 0 what should be the input? If you want to change output from 0 to 1 what should be the input. So, if you look at excitation table, so what we want is uh, what should be the input to change from desired output set one from others. So, based on this clearly you can see, so this is excitation table of T flip flop. So, this is uh, what we are trying to, it is different from characteristic equation. So, this one is actually characteristics of T flip flop, ok, characteristics of T flip flop and one over t is equal to 1, it is actually complement this output. And what we want in excitation table, suppose currently you are in state 0 and we want a state next state 0, then what should be the value of t? So, in this case clearly because characteristics table this says that whenever it is 0, then output do not changes. That means, for this cases 0 0 and 1 1 cases t need to be 0 and for if we want to change suppose 0 is there and we want a 1 and 1 is there and we want a 0 in this case t need to be 1. So, this is excitation table. 
So, if we want a change from 0 to 0, what should be the value of t? We want a change from 0 to 1, what should be the value of t? So, this is the what the characteristics tables or excitation table require. So, excitation table have this thing. So, what value of input we require to do a desired change? So, current state is suppose 0 and we want to change to state 1, output state 1, then what should be the input? Okay. So, tabling require input to change from q to q plus desired change. So, excitation table can be derived from FSM diagrams and clearly tabling require input to change from q to q dash. If you look at the things, if you want current state is 0 and next state we want 0 to 0, then clearly so this thing, so take this, you are in state 0 and you want to be in state 0, what input you require? So, that thing this particularly arc, take this arc and we require here if you look at here you require a 0, then this thing we are tabling. So, similarly, so from 0 1, so you are in state 0 and you want a 1, next state 1, what input do you require? If you look at 0 1, so you are in 0 and you want to go to 1, so this arc, particularly this arc, so this arc we want, that means if you want 1 from 0, then you require input 1. From FSM diagram of T flip flop, we can easily derive the excitation table of T flip flop, very, very easily. Once FSM diagram of flip flop is given, then excitation table is very easy to derive. So, similarly from 1 to 0, so clearly this is 1 and 1 to 0, we require input 1. From 1 to 1, so 1 and 1 to 1. So, this thing, so clearly we require input 0. So, from FSM diagrams, we can derive excitation table. So, tabling required input to change from Q to Q plus. Okay. Suppose you want to change from 1 to 0, then you require input 1. So, similarly for D flip flop, D flip flop is very straight forward and in general if you want a 0, then anyhow if you want a next state 0, then your input need to be 0, then only you will get a 0 because this is D flip flop and D flip flop is straight forward flip flop, so data flip flop and if you want a 1, so what about the state, it do not depend upon this one, so if you want a 1, then input value need to be 1 and for 0, so if you want a 0, then you look at clearly this two arrows, it shows require input 0 and for red 1, it require 1. This is a from the characteristic table you can derive. For jk, so excitation table is this, but how we can derive from the clearly if you look at 0 0, 0 0 correspond to this thing. Okay, so, if it is 0, if it is earlier it was 0 and if you want to go to 0, then g and k input need to be 0. Suppose from 0 to 0, it do not depend upon actually k and this thing let us look at the FSM diagram of uh, jk flip flop from their derivation of exception table will be much easier. So, this is what you can say this one is FSM diagram of jk flip flop and clearly you can see if you want to 0 to 0, if you want 0 to 0, so you are in state 0 and you want to do in this particular this two, this two transitions and if you look at this is for jk, that means j need to be 0 and k can be anything, do not care, if you look at 0 1 and 0 0. So, from this, this thing you can derive. So, if you want a 0 from 0, transition from 0 to 0, then j input need to be 0, j input need to be 0, in this case j input need to be 0 and k any value is fine, do not care is fine. So, similarly for if you want a 0 to 1, 0 to 1 means this 2, 
particularly these two tensions, this tension and this tension. And this tension is clearly j is equal to 1. So, in this case, if you look at this thing, j is equal to 1 and k any values is fine. Similarly, for 1 0, 1 0, if you look at 1 0, k is equal to 1 and j values anything is fine. Similarly, for 1 to 1, so suppose you want to do n 1 to 1, so 1 to 1. So, this value particularly k value need to be 0, k value need to be 0, particularly these two tensions, these two tensions we require. Suppose you want to, you want 1 from state 1, then these two tensions we require, for these two tensions we require k value need to be 0 and it do not depend upon j values. So, clearly excitation table for j k flip flop is this one, this one is excitation table from and from FSM diagram of j k flip flop excitation table is very easy to derive and what excitation table is similarly for R s flip flop. So, this is the table for R s flip flop, similarly you can derive from for R s flip flop. Okay. So, suppose you want to design a counter with uh, this sequence particularly whatever earlier we have said. So, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this sequence repeats and this is the state diagrams. This is the, there are clearly in this case 6 state, how many state? We have 6 state and this thing repeats and if you want to design a combinational circuit. So, suppose you want to design using j k flip flop, for j k flip flop we require 6 input because j k flip flop each have actually 2 inputs. So, we require 6 input. What will be the combinational circuit or logic network for j k flip flop. So, it can be any other flip flop, but what will be the logic network for different flip flop. This is the, this one is top one is by default is use d flip flop, but suppose you want to use any other flip flop instead of d flip flop you use j k flip flop or r s flip flop or t flip flop, what will be the network that we want to know. And d flip flop the excitation is very straightforward because it is data flip flop. Next state need to be what we want for the next for d flip flop, but for other things are slightly different. Suppose you want to use using d flip flop, then it is straightforward. So, simple FSM implementations and uh, this uh, source suppose 0 to 0, this source uh, input need to be 0. For 0 to 1, input need to be 1. Suppose 1 to 0, then input need to be 0, and this is 1 to 1 input. This same excitance table part is shown here in color. So, blue is for 0, red is for 1, green is for 1 1 and this is for 1 0. Suppose given 1 we want next state to be 0 then require input 0 and for all next state from the present state. So, you derive what will be the flip flop input d 1, d 2 and d 3. So, what will, be the, what will be the flip flop input d 1, d 2 and d 3? We derive, you tabulate it, just tabulate it. Once tabulate it, we can derive the combinational circuit. So, once tabulate it, we can derive the combinational. This is the present state, this is the present state and, and this is the flip flop input we require. And based on this, we can derive what will be the d 1? d 1 will be based on the this q 1, q 2 and q 3. So, d 1 is function of uh, q 1, q 2 and q 3 and d 1 is because it is given in truth table. So, we can derive very nicely for all 3 d 1, d 2 and d 3. So, once you derive the equations, okay, truth table from truth table you derive the equation. Once you derive the equation then implementing the circuit is very easy. So, this is the implementation of circuit, this is the d 1, d 2 and d 3 and which is same as FSM controller. So, it is no different. So, counter implementation using deep flip flop is exactly same as FSM implement default FSM implementations. And if you want to use T flip flop, so use excitation table of T flip flop. Okay, this is the present state we are tabulating for this FSM, this is the next state we require. And if you want to use T flip flop, what will be the input to the T flip flops? For T 1, so we are showing, so if it is 0 0, you require input 0, if it is 0 1, you require input 1, if it is 
1 0 you require input 1 and if it is a 1 1 you require input 0. So, in this case if state is getting changes, so then you require a if state is getting changes then you require input 1 otherwise 0. So, this is the behavior of t flip flop this is the excitation table of t flip flop and based on this we can derive what will be the input for t 1 input for t 2 and input for t 3. So, you derive t 1 t 1 as a function of uh, q 1 q 2 and q 3. Similarly, for tooth table is given this tooth table is given. So, based on tooth table you just uh, derive. So, based on the tooth table this is the present state present state this is the next state next state for t 1 next state for t 2 this is a uh, input for uh, t 1 t 2 and t 3 and from this we can derive equation this is tooth table. So, what will be the value of input is already given. So, in the next state logic so t 1 need to be function of a uh, q 1 q 2 and q 3 and what will be the q 1 based on the this tooth table based on the tooth table we can derive this t 1 t 2 and t 3 very simplistic uh, Carnot map using Carnot map we can derive this equation and once you derive the equations implementation is straightforward again. So, this is the implementations and clearly so in this case also we require lot of gates. So, how many gates uh, 3 plus 3 plus 2 8 gates they require in earlier cases also we require 8 gates and using RS play flop. So, this is the excitation table of RS play flop this is the present state similar to earlier present state this is the next state and what we want here we want 6 input 6 input not instead of a 3 input we require 6 input because RS flip flop require 2 input per flip flop. So, this is uh, for flip flop 1, flip flop 2 and flip flop 3. So, what should be the input? Suppose you want a change from 0 to 0 for bit q 1. So, suppose you want a change from 0 to 0. So, based on the this table, so what should be the value of flip flop? So, 0 to 0 you can say 0 to 0 we are able to see this thing this thing. So, you get this values this particularly same thing for 0 to 1. So, 1 0 0 to 1 we have this thing this one is 0 to 1. So, for 0 to 1 input value need to be this. So, similarly for this and this for all possibilities we can see and once you do this thing excitation table we can derive what will be the input for S 1 R 1 S 2 R 2 S 3 R 3 all 6 input we can tabulate from the present state. So, you derive the inputs from the present state you derive all inputs. So, for S 1 R 1 S 2 R 2 and S 3 R 3. So, this is the S 1 S 1 is function of Q 1 Q 2 and Q 3. So, this is the S 1 is function of Q 1 Q 2 Q 3 S 2 R 1 is function of Q 1 Q 2 Q 3 this is truth table this is the this truth table this one is this truth table this one is this truth table. And if you have two table you can design circuits ok. So, we can derive using simple k map. So, this is the earlier one is uh, functions and this is the required logic and once we derive these things then implementation is easier using RS flip flop we can implement this is n gate 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, clearly there are 4 n gate is required because every flip flop have actually or you can say complemented output for not we do not require a flip flop because every flip flop have complemented output. This is every flip flop have complemented output. So, for not we do not require a get. 
implements are using JK flip flop. So, if you look at the things, so for we require excitation table of JK flip flop, we have already we have derived from FSM, FSM of JK flip flop already we have derived. Suppose you want a 0 to 0, suppose this case 0 to 0. So, what should be the input for first JK flip flop J1 K1. So, in this case 0 to 0 you require a 0 x this 0 x. If you want a 0 1 0 to 1 then what require 1 x this one. So, from the excitation table and from our state table present state and next state. So, we derive the input for the flip flops all 6 input j1 k1, j2 k2, j3 k3 all 6 input we tabulate it. Once we tabulate the input then clearly from the present state these are the set of input tabulated input, these are the set of tabulated input. Once you tabulated the input, because uh, this is the truth table and j1 is function of q1, q2 and q3. Similarly, k1 is function of q1, q2, q3. This is tabulated already. Once we have already tabulated, this is for this one, this is for this one, this is for this one, this is for this one. Once we have tabulated, deriving equations, Boolean equation is not difficult. And clearly here we are having one AND gate, only one AND gate and rest of the things can be done. So, here counter logic diagram using JK flip flop, these are the functions for J1 K1, J2 K2, J3 K3 and if you look at the things only one extra AND gate is required. Let us compare with whatever earlier design D flip flop, T flip flop, RS flip flop. Let us compare because using JK flip flop we are able to design using only one extra AND gate, only one extra AND gate and require more logic as compared to JK based. But in this case if you look at D flip flop, so D flip flop require how many 3 plus 3 plus 2, in this case 8 gate you require. Okay. So, in this case 8 and clearly 8 is greater than 1. Okay, so, require more logic as compared to JK. This is if you are using D flip flop, then it is same as FSM controller okay, and it require 8 extra gate. So, if you are using T flip flop, still 3 plus 3 plus 2. So, in case of T flip flop also, it require 8 gate extra gate and 8 is greater than 1, still require more logic as compared to JK flip flop. In case of RS, so, number of gate is 1, 2, 3 and 4, extra gate we require 4 because 4 end operations we require, still it is uh, 4 is greater than 1 okay. and if you use JK flip flop only 1 is required and why it is happening. So, JK based particularly combinational circuit complexity is lesser as compared to D based combinational circuit complexity, particularly next state logic complexity is much lower heuristically for JK flip flop based. So, JK flip flop based, JK based combinational circuit complexity is lower or smaller than D based one because if you look at why it is happening, possibly let us look at the excitation table of all flip flop. This is for D flip flop this is for T flip flop, this is for SR and this is for JK. For D flip flop there is no do not care D and T. For RS we have 2 do not care and for JK we have actually 4 do not care. Possibly we may infer because JK flip flop excitation table have many do not care, particularly do not care do not care cases get combined very nicely to get optimized circuit. Possibly we can conclude like this because this JK flip flop excitation table have 
four don't care because of this four don't care the particular next state logic is getting minimized nicely get optimized very nicely get optimized so this is the one tick if you use multiple input particularly jk input flip flop in implementation of fsm then it may require less number of gates in next state logic let us come to another thing so there is a comparison of mali fsm versus more fsm so we have already defined what is more fsm and what is mali fsm let us first uh, start from the with the examples so what is uh, more fsm more fsm means it uh, particularly output it depend on states suppose uh, with this examples suppose input are 0 or 1 entering to a, a stream and output 1 one total number of 1 is even if number of uh, 1 in the stream already encountered stream is uh, even then output is 1 so that means initially that means uh, 0 number of 1 will be encountered so then it will be an event state by default if you are encountering a 1 then it will go to all states okay and this is output depend only on current state so more machines output depend only on current state and if you are encountering a one input then it will move to the or states and if you are encountering a one again then it will go to event state that means if you are in event state then output is equal to one so output one so one total number of one is even then if you are in event state even is encoded as zero and output is equal to zero dex which is one output is equal to what is the state event state complemented one. 0 complemented 1 this one is 1 and if you are in event state if you are getting a 0 then still it will be even and if you are in all state and if you are getting a 0 then still it will be in all state and output is associated with states and hence appear after the state tension the most important thing is output appear after the state transitions that means whenever you get a input you transit to the next state and output is depend upon only state so this statement is output is dependent only on current state that means once you transit to next state then only output will be reflected this is the standard more machines but in many machines so the things are different okay so output is dependent on current state and the input and output get encoded in the arc itself so this one is input and this one is output okay so this one is input and this one is output so if you are in event state and if you are getting a zero then still you are in event state and output will be one so that means output is associated with the arc okay output is depend on current state and input output is depend on it is encoded in the arc okay so particularly in transitions and many machines output is associated with state transitions and appear before the state transitions completed because this output is associated with each arc before the state transitions happens output will be visible so this is the transitions or arc so here if you are in all states if you are in all state and if you are getting a one then output will be one you have not gone to event state but you saw input 1 and immediately you are giving output 1 okay so clearly many machines output appear before the state transition you saw the input and based on the you change output okay it is output is uh, encoded in the arc and output is depend on current state and input immediately it can change the output and parity checker means if you see more machine implementations then what we do so if you use a simple deep flip flop okay if you are in event state and getting a one then what it do so it takes the state and it xr xr the things and in this case if it is even then only it output one so if it is 
even then only it output 1 otherwise it output 0 ok. That means input first look at it do the state transitions once state transitions happens output appears and this output is goes to the y2. So, if you want to implement using a deep flip flop so then it is simply a deep flip flop. So, this one is simply simple a deep flip flop ok this, this input is xr with input ok. So, this is a simple T flip flop. It is more implementation of this uh, parity checker is uh, implemented using a T flip flop if it is a more machines. But in case of uh, and more output is synchronized with clock, output is purely synchronized with clock. And if you want to implement Melly machines, then things are slightly different. But first, we want output based on the current set and input, you take out the output take out the output if you want to implement using deep flip flop. So, first based on the input and the current state you take out the output this is the arc arc output and this one is arc transitions. So, this one is clearly arc state input and this one is arc output. So, output we are taking from the arc that means here we are taking the output. So, in this case if you want to implement the same thing using deep flip flop then using deep flip flop then this is the first state transitions and this is output immediately this x values this is the output this is the output of the states and this is the input and this is state current state and output is depend on current state and input and output get reflected immediately this path get because this is a combinational circuit this part is combinational circuit because this part is combinational circuit output will be visible immediately see the input ok. So, mainly output is not synchronized with clock output is not synchronized that means state transition is still synchronized state transition is synchronized but output is not synchronized immediately input changes output changes ok. Because of this regions input get transport to output and there may be some glitches. So, suppose input changes very frequently and clock changes slowly then this input will be get reflected onto the output which may not be a good desired thing, but sometimes this Melly machine is uh, uh, we can optimize better. What is the major difference between Melly machines and Moore machines? Melly machines have less states probably because uh, output are on transitions rather than states and Moore machines are safer to use because output change at clock edges and always one cycle later because it is synchronized first state need to be changed and output is depend on states. Melly machines input changes can cause output changes as soon as logic is done because only it combinational circuit input change can cause output change as soon as logic is done that means it may have some glitches. A big problem when two machines are interconnected that means asynchronous feedback may occurs if one is not careful we should not mix Melly and Moore machines and Melly machine design need to be very very cautious even if it is optimized, but need to be very cautious. So, that is a safer bet is people go for Moore machines. Melly machines react faster to input reacts in the same cycle because output depend upon present state output depend upon present state and input ok. Whenever input changes immediately output changes only combinational circuits output may be considerably shorter than the clock cycle. If output are considerably shorter than clock cycle then it may input is uh, suppose uh, changed without changing clock then output also changes. In more machines more logic may be necessary to decode states into outputs there may be more gate delay after the clock edge 
because in Moore machines output depend on states. First state tensions need to happen then only you will see the output. So, let us look at a very simplistic examples to design a system which output x is equal to 1 whenever it receive multiple of 3 numbers of 1 multiple of 3 numbers of 1. So, that means on a serial input line x ok suppose small x is input line and capital X is output line and if it sees multiple of 3 1, 6 1 or 9 ones, then it is output a 1. So, it counts the number of ones, whenever it counts which is 0, then it output 1, 3 ones, 6 ones, 9 ones, then it output 1. So, if you design a more machines, then so initially uh, system goes to how many counts particularly. So, you require you count the number of 1 and particularly mod it ok. Count always uh, do the counts i is counting. So, i is equal to counting how many 1's are there 1, 2, 2 then what happens then after that it again goes to 0. So, initially it goes to the i is equal to 0 whenever it input is 1 then i is incremented again you get a 1 i is incremented. So, so in this case how many 1 2 if you are getting a another 1 then it will be multiple of 3. So, 0 is anyhow multiple of 3 if you are considering otherwise uh, uh, for every once you come back to state this state particularly i is equal to 0 states this states suppose this is a suppose s 0 s 1 and s 2. Suppose if you are coming back whenever you are coming to s 0 state that means you encounter 3 1. So, whenever you coming back to state s 0 means you have encounter 3 1. So, whenever you encounter multiple of 3 means in s 0 you output 1. So, the we are outputting 1. If you are encountering a 0 then stay in the current state. If you are encountering a 0 then input is 0 then we are staying in the same state. So, if you want to design a melee machines because you are in how many we have counted and if you are getting a 0 that means still you are in the same state and you output a 1 immediately. If you are getting a 1 then you output 0 because this is not multiple of 3. So, here you have already multiple of means uh, in state s 2 and whenever you get a 1 input then you are going to s 0 state because you are going to s 0 state because it will be means uh, multiple of 3 1 then you output a 1. So, in the arg itself you encoded if you are in state s 2 and you got a 1 that means next you will go to this state and anyhow it will be output will be 1. So, once you see the input you decide what need to be output it is more reactive. So, these are the input and these are the outputs and let us look at uh, another thing. So, uh, design a system that output true at least two last input are same. Suppose, if we encounter a 0 0 then output 1, if we encounter a 1 1 then also it output 1, the, but last two input need to be same and melee implementation require only 3 states, but more FSM require 2 more states and because of this reasons melee machines are little bit optimized. In melee machines because initially let us uh, uh, system in start state and if you are getting a 1 then it is false you go to if you are getting a 1 from start state you are going to state 1 and if you are getting a 1 in state 1 then because you are in state 1 but that means earlier input is 1 and if you are getting a 1 then immediately you display once you see the input you display t is equal to 1 this is uh, output is equal to 1 output is true 
okay and in this case if you are getting a 0 then it is move to state 0 and if you are in state 0 and if you are getting a 0 that means 2 continuous 0 happened immediately and make output true okay so this is the for this thing and you are getting a 1 you are in state 1 and getting a 0 that means the sequence break that means now because earlier it was in 1 and you got a 0 that means it is not continuous same not something output false so in this case if you are in state 0 and I got a 1 that means this is 2 are not matching then output false so Melly machines FSM is much more more simpler for this case that if you want to do for Moore machines the same problem is it possible to design Moore FSM of the same problem with three state and maybe it will be very very difficult to design let us see so Moore machines require five states because output is encoded in states so initially you are in start state whenever you are getting a one you are getting to another state one where you encounter only one one if you are getting a another one you are going to another state because here you are outputting true okay here output is true so in this state because you need to go to state where there are two one one need to be there because here you encounter one one here you are encountering two one so this is the state and in this state you are making it true if you are encountering another one then still it will be in same state if you are encountering a zero then it is uh, it need to go to encounter a only one zero okay and if you are encountering you are here and you encounter a zero that means you are moving to zero zero states and in this case if you are encountering zero then same state country if you are encountering one then it goes to encounter one okay and if you are in zero states and zero zero and you encounter one then it comes to one one so in this case because output is depend on states it is very difficult to means manage with three states because this is the initial state and this is one zero one one okay and this two states per two one and two zero because of these things we require minimum of five states we can manage in three state with many machines but we are not able to manage with three state it require more number of states so that is a more machines require more number of states Melly machines require less number of states most of the times and Melly machines is difficult to manage because output is almost asynchronous it is not clocked but Moore machine is separate to use output depend upon the current states and state change happen on the positive edge of clock and so it means state changes happen in clock because state actually we put the states in registers okay so store the state in register and register are always clock so by default we can say uh, state are clocked so output will depend upon the clock it need to wait up to clock and sometime output get delayed one clock because state is clock okay thank you this is the major difference between more and melee machines thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.